Denis Alexandrovich Lebedev is a Russian professional boxer who competes in the heavyweight category up to 91 kg. World Champion WBA 2011-2012, WBA 2012-2013. All performances by Denis are amazingly spectacular and dynamic. His achievements are more than 20 fights completed by knockout, and only 3 defeats. His coach Konstantin Zhu helped Denis win over foreign rivals. Homeland athlete Steri Oskal, Belgorod region. Date of birth August 14, 1979. From early childhood, Dennis was involved in sports. This hobby was instilled in him by his father. Only hard work, exhausting training, self-confidence allowed the young boxer to achieve his first successes. Dennis Alexandrovich begins his professional career in 2001. In just three years, the athlete wins 13 victories in a row and becomes the champion of Russia. But then he decides to leave the sport. Later, giving an interview, the athlete will tell the reason for leaving. Tritely needed money to support the family. Fights did not bring the necessary income. And he got a job in private security. He left to return. After a four-year break, Dennis resumes training. All work is not in vain. We want to show you the top five best knockouts from Dennis Lebedev. July 19, 2008. Chekhov, Russia. Denis Lebedev, Archul Mizvrishvili. In the summer of 2008, Lebedev began a new boxing life, returning to the ring after an almost four-year career break. The outcome of his fight with Archul Mizvrishvili from Georgia, by and large, was decided by one blow, inflicted already in the first round. Once at the ropes, Mizvrishvili thoughtlessly lowered his right hand, and Lebedev, as a left-hander, put all the force accumulated during the downtime into his left-handed blow. This is where it all ended. July 18, 2009, Manchester, UK. Dennis Lebedev, Enzo Makarinelli. You can't call this knockout super spectacular, but Lebedev repeatedly emphasized that the victory over the Welshman Enzo Makarinelli played a very important role in his career. In this fight, Dennis showed that he knows how to deal with opponents who are much taller than him. Lebedev won the WBO Intercontinental title by TKO over former world champion Welshman Enzo Makarinelli. July 17, 2010, Schwerin, Germany. Denis Lebedev, Alexander Alexeyev. Alexander Alexeyev himself challenged his compatriot, and this turned out to be a mistake. In a fight between two left-handers, Lebedev was more accurate and aggressive from the very beginning to the very end. This end was Denis's left side, which he inflicted, leaving Alexeyev's jab. He honestly tried to get to his feet, but was unable to take a vertical position. May 21, 2011, Moscow, Russia. Dennis meets in the ring with the eminent boxer, Roy Jones. The fight was very tense. The fighters exchanged heavy blows. But at the very end of the last round, after a series of blows from Lebedev, Jones hung on the ropes. He probably had a standing knockout. Lebedev looked at the referee, but he did not stop the fight. And he struck a blow to the head of the enemy. Roy Jones practically collapsed to the floor of the ring. Only after that the fight was stopped. For a long 10 minutes, the doctors brought Roy to consciousness. Later, in an interview, the athlete admitted that he does not hold a grudge against the Russian athlete, and forgives his last blow. December 17, 2012, Moscow, Russia. Denis Lebedev, Santander Silgado. Before the fight, there was a lot of talk about the fact that in fact there was no risk for Denis, but in the first round Silgado gave him a lot of trouble. He defended well with his body and several times got the champion with punches from the right. Lebedev put everything in its place in the fourth round, 
and the floor of the ring turned out to be the Colombian's place. It all started with an accurate left side hook from Dennis, and ended with a left uppercut that landed exactly on the chin. If you like the video, like and subscribe to the channel about powerful fighters, the crushers. Thank you for watching. This is trash.